What's up guys, it's Scott from Game Productions Next Gen, and we're going to be bringing you another L.A. Noir video. Today we're going to be doing the, what, what, the Silk Stocking Murder. A hard drive. I must inform everyone before we start, I am very tired because I woke up an hour ago, and... I don't know. I was trying to control my dreams last night. But I fell asleep trying to do it. Well, we're not gonna talk about that. We're just gonna keep playing the Ellen Noir. I'll be quiet now. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hope. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Okay, I, I forgot what I was um, doing, but I just know that some Hispanic woman died, and I'm going to go investigate the murder. You have the address? And since you all know how you love my driving, count yourself lucky. Get the Most guys are killed around a case so close to their death. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, though. All units in the vicinity in any century unit. A 211 has shots fired 410 South Flower Street. You did think handle code 3 identified. Freeze! Now freeze, damn it! Oh, no, past it, I see it. You can check. Go, go, go. Now, this is... I don't want to spoil anything, but this is going to be a large crime scene. Yeah, and you'll all see why. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Yep, sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe just hates editing this part because I forget that I'm that it's there oh, and the uh, keep sake. and the picture keeps Brothers, swaying figure. around. Cause of death is pretty apparent. Joe rage is pretty hard you when you when you're ready. Learns this already then. The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. All right. We're going to inspect her body. Her last her last or first name is Antonio. And why the library card? Antonia. Did he want us to find it? Seems right. Uh her ring finger is next. Hey. Ah, oh, there we go. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Sorry, I just like to see the shadow. Alright. Then there was the Kiss the Blood BD. Kiss the Blood BD. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangle, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah. We know the MO. 
So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna examine this stocking. If she took a blow to the head like the others, do, do, she was probably do, 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 unconscious do, do. when strangled. All right. We're gonna follow this blood trail because she apparently lost a lot of blood. May as well follow the trail. It's a hat. Could be that woman. Oh, I was right, Antonia. Antonia. I hope that's how you pronounce her name, card. or it may sound racist. I don't know how. It's happened before. Alright, the blood trail goes this way. I gotta switch my suit, I don't like the suit. Oh, there's a shoe. In the trash can- nope, nope, sorry, cold, no. The shoe. Shoe. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains, no way is this coincidence. Okay then. Next we're gonna keep following the blood trail. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Oh, uh, there's Check gonna be out. a key on this pipe. Five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Okay, then keep following this blood trail. Where does it lead? You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? What's this? There's something right here. Bottle, bottle on the ground. That's got to two, be code five, or a three. Cipher. They look like dice. I could be that could come in handy later on in the day. So it's gonna take us up this fire escape. Where are you taking us? All right. Nope. Nope. I already examined you. Time for some Cole Phelps parkour. something. Nope, I didn't want this. Other side, I think. Yeah, I seriously cannot remember from my life. It's somewhere, somewhere on the pigeon coop. Oh, yep, yep. And this is a... M oh, God. Forget it. Too late now, Joe. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Clearly wants us to find these things. Huh? He left them for us. Oh. There you go, Phelps. You got a new ammo. Okay, it looks like it's gonna take us up this fire escape might just after I examine contact. this part. It's pretty enameled and gold plated. Fancy. This was precious to her. So this is gonna lead us up the, the pipe. Wait, what was that? The trail points up. Really? 
Now, since I've already beaten this, I know what's gonna happen, but... Might as well keep it non-spoiler free. Wait, what's that in the air? Is that plane? Oh, two planes. There's a... wedding ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Uh, there's blood going up here. There's a paintbrush with <gasps> red stuff on it. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. I don't know if it's blood or paint. I'm gonna go with blood. And then we have a bag. And inside the bag is the other half of her library card. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Thank God I was not planning on going all the way down there. I'm gonna let Finbar drive. Can you drive to this one? Finbar. Fine. Where are we headed? It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him. We close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested <laughs> techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? He's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Before that, I'm just going to inspect the, the room really quick. Place looks ransacked. We're gonna look at the. What the heck am I looking for again? The letter, the charm bracelet photograph. Look at that. And the broken window. Someone's turned the place over. Something outside the broken window. Uh, okay, we have an address. Uh, there's a photograph right here, facing down. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Let's go talk to that person downstairs. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. First, we're going to ask her about the possible suspects. 
Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. She's telling the truth. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. Next, we're going to do the uh, movements of the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. You want to doubt. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Next, you want to do the evidence of the break-in? You've had a break-in? No! That can't be true. You want to lie. Oh, she's lying. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. You want to do the broken window? So Antonia lost her keys and <sighs> used an iron bar to Jimmy the back window? Sorry, people. I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Breakdown of marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. You wanna lie? What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Uh, just pick the charm bracelet photograph. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado bar. Alright, so we're gonna end it here, internet people. Um, uh, I hope you had fun. I know I had fun. I'm just extremely tired. Alright, see you next episode. Good night. Or good morning. I am still top. I am still top.